Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Thiago. I'm from Brazil, uh, head of uh, trade marketing uh, and revenue management for Nestle Purina Brazil. Uh, today, we are going to talk about our pros implementation, the control system in our market, and the, and how do we work to together to face the complexity of the market and also to guarantee a successful implementation. So just before we start, just to give you a landscape of Brazil, here we have a very complex scenario in terms of pricing. We have a competitive landscape with a lot of companies, companies, small companies. Uh, we have regions different. We have 27 states in Brazil with totally different taxes and totally different parameters, and also the reality of in terms of GPD of this population. The channels, we have a lot of channels that reach these customers. We have 85,000 customers, so it's a distribution business in Brazil um, with different margins, different price categories, and also the setup, the fiscal setup in Brazil in terms of tax is very complex. We have tax being executed by, by SQs, and we manage only for Purina Brazil 300 SQs, so just to give you an idea of the number. And at the moment, we took about four or five days to implement uh, a new price table in the market only for Nestle Purina, not counting Nestle as well. So at this moment, it was quite complex to implement pricing and to have the situation. So when you look at the market at the moment, we saw a lot of companies trying to increase prices and they are not able to. There are a lot of other manufacturers that only implement their prices once in a week, in a year. So that you imagine how complex is that and how can you survive in a scenario of inflation as Brazil is right now and in the past years. So at this moment, we just decide to have a different outlook in the market. As long as we could see that a lot of companies were using spreadsheets to calculate pricing. And that's for our case too. And when you look at the best uh, options in the market, you also could see that a lot of professionals at the moment were applying new strategies and new softwares to manage their prices in the market. So how can you use this technology to advance our pricing? In some moment, we are just using and working with a cost plus scenario in Brazil, just increasing the, the pricing based on financials internal. So we try to move uh, on the path to have a more strategic pricing. So the main challenge that we, we wanted to uh, surpass here it was to have a pricing control system implemented so we could give a, a single source of truth in the market at this moment. And it was a biggest challenge that we have in the market at the moment. So to do that, we did some assessments, some benchmarks, and we could confirm for us the best scenario to have a better price maturity was to have in a system of control this price in this, this scenario, and also that would apply to us willingness to pay and other stuff inside the software to manage pricing. So this was a, a problem that we face at the moment because it will take a lot of time to implement those prices and also to manage everything, all the conditions that we have are very complex. So we decide here to look for a company that would give us the capability, abilities to manage price faster and in the very complex scenario that we have. So here it's the diagnosis that we run. So at this moment, we have price being manually applied in the market with a lot of price cycles taking a lot of weeks to implement. And you can imagine how much money we'd, we'd lost with this taking so long implementations. We have a very complex implementation. We have in terms of taxes, almost one change per day in terms of taxes where we have to change everything and do the process the whole again. Error prone, we lost a lot of money by calculations in Excel that you don't take into consideration all the conditions that we have at the moment. So we could always have to fix those tables that we're sending to customers at the moment. Uh, the competitors were very fast in the market. They were able to change prices very fast, and this also linked to software they apply. And also the governance in terms of pricing, who approve it while you are approving, if you are approving correctly and properly at the moment. So that was the, the business case and what you want to solve. Uh, and the benefits to expect at the moment was to reduce this price cycle 
that was a mandatory thing to us, to have a centralized platform where all the things related to pricing goes in this platform with a guaranteed governance in terms of pricing and also to relieve some time from the sales team because the sales team had to go to the customer, send the price tables and when we identify some errors, go again and send another ones and also just consume a lot of time from them at this moment and we could monetize it too at this moment. So when you look at the softwares in the market, we could already define what you want to have from those. So a control center with functionality not only to calculate the pricings, but also to spot opportunities and have some optimizations inside the through. And also integrated with our tools, especially SAP. At the moment, that was a great deal to us to have an integration solution that could give us everything. And when you look at the, the competitors and, I, uh, and pros, we could see a lot of advantages of using pros in terms of everything that I mentioned to you here. Just to guarantee we have an integration solution, a single source of truth in terms of pricing, and also a thing that is very important in Brazil right now for us, which is impact analysis and visibility on our profitability, because it's, it's very granular the level that we perform pricing with so much combinations that sometimes you can see leakage when you combine financial data with pricing data. And also to have this all automated in real time calculations, which will solve for us the pricing, the, the timing of implementations in the market. So then we decide to work with pros, do it based on, on a very critical uh, analysis, we start implementation. Here I'm not going through details, but it was a very complex project, long, but we were very successful. And the most important part of this was the project planning and the process mapping. So due to the complexity, we have to involve a lot of stakeholders during this process to guarantee we could cover everything at the moment. So we, to do that, we use workshops, testing, and a lot of training, and also change management here for, was crucial. Just to give you an example here of how much time and how we involve persons in this process. This is uh, an example about the mapping process that we have. So we have a lot of workshops with all the teams that we have in place in the market. We involve all the stakeholders involved. So we have to involve them because if you just map the process uh, related to price, you are not able to have the change that we, we, we looked necessary at that moment. So we do the whole waterfall of pricing with a lot of things that touch pricing at the moment. And here, just to show you the main leadings that you have at the moment. So only for Purina, not for Nestlé as a whole, we took for a pricing review by euros 12 days to implement, and not counting the weekends here. Uh, price review by tax changes, 18 days, and price review by general policy, 19 days. And Nestlé Brasil would take 45 days before we implement pricing uh, pros. So the main issues, you already know, so Handovers within teams, different teams here. We have manual flow. We have to build the simulation, which is the biggest part that we have. Imagine taking all those conditions together and calculate. And if you have any change again, we have to change everything one more time. And we work in validation would take a lot of time. And also, even after that, you have a lot of things to correct. So it was a very complex in terms of implementation in Brazil uh, and a big deal for us. So, based on that, it took to us 12 months to implement the solution with a lot of team dedicated. We have five FTs dedicated only for Purina. For whole Nestle Brazil, it was more than 12 uh, persons working. More than 1,000 meetings and plus 2,000 hours dedicated to implement pros here. So, you could see that it took a lot of time. We dedicated a team, but it was very successful from both part of the process here, both pros and NSLA. So before pros, uh, in average, just Purina, we take 19 days to implement pricing, and we have three FTEs here fully dedicated to the what you call revenue management, the part of strategic pricing, and six persons involved in all the parts of registering the CP, the conditions, manage all the, 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 the is, is, uh, integration of data, the extraction of data here. And then, just in the first month of implementation, 
we could move to seven days, the implementation of pricing. We used to work with now two resources and also one resource just setting up and checking is everything all right right now. This is in the first month. Today we are even advanced in terms of how we apply pricing in the market. So it was a quite good uh, initial here. So how, how to work pricing control today for us? So we used to take everything that we have in our RRP and SAP. So this is fully integrated with pros. So we bring all those taxes, customer data, everything into pros. So this is fully integrated. There's no manual input here. We take also the whole strategy of the business in terms of price strategy, financials, uh, retails margins, contracts agreements, trade span, a part of investment, and also the competitive strategy and elasticity. Everything is combined inside pros today. So we have only one single source of truth here. We don't have to extract that. We don't have this work anymore. So everything is here on time. So we can one time simulate every scenario that you want. So every, every time we publish this and approve it here, you can publish directly to our sales team. So this is integrated with SAP. They send it back also to the Palm Top or iPhone that the salesperson have today. To, so we practically have everything integrated. We have no more errors related to uh, setups of data and everything else that we have in the past. This is an example. So before, before pros, to do the scenario, this is we're talking about uh, volume and margin. This is volume and margin. To simulate those seven scenarios would take for us about 30 days to do that. And with, with pros, this is your senior simulation that we did in two hours. So here you can take the best scenario in terms of price increasing by using the whole data that you have. And you can show to our senior leadership and present to them and guarantee you get the approvals in the system and already implement as long as you want. So this is turn everything because we have it connected. We have, we're able to do the simulations, the analysis, and the predictions that we want on the revenue based on the increment, the, the price increase that we want to give. So this is how it works today for Nestle Purina Brazil. So no more timing, expanding on building up the simulations. And when we talk about one of the biggest uh, challenge that we have, this is, uh, we're talking about the timing of implementing again, 19 days. These are the main process that we or eliminated or we reduce completely during the process. So you could see the gather and extraction, building simulation, would took the most part of the time to perform this analysis. And I'm talking here about tax changes, errors, or a full implementation of pricing. So today, we are working with three days here actually right now. But in the beginning of the, of the project, and I would like to bring this to you, we turn into seven days it was a 62% reduction in terms of pricing. And this will save almost one month in terms of revenue for us in a very inflationary country where it, sometimes you have inflation of 2% in a month. That for us is a big difference in terms of capturing revenue for the company. And here to give you an outlook of this process, we have process that we reduce almost 90% and other process that we just eliminate, let's register data. I don't have any more inputs of data into systems, and that give us the rightness of the process, no more prone to errors, and also the review reduced a lot. This is the one that we keep before the project a bit, but today this is almost reduced to zero two. And this gives us 30% less FTEs on pricing, 83 percent of these reductions on registering on the system, the data. And also, now the team is fully dedicated to analysis and building up uh, value-added activities to the business. And also, when we talk about uh, reducing errors, this is our curve in terms of errors. Today, PROS is helping us to identify errors that might be inside SAP. Before that, we have to look that manually in the system in Excel. So this represents a lot of money to the company because we're not selling 
prices in those million combinations that we have in a price that's not correctly, that doesn't apply the right conditions that we want to apply in the market. So less errors, we can uncover leakage by analysis and also find out liars and opportunities for improvement. So it's a day-to-day yeah, -day value destroyers analysis, marginal contribution analysis. Now we use pros to generate this intelligence and or more uh, generating simulations and building up things as we used to do in the past. And here, just to finish our presentation, this is some numbers that we have in, in the beginning of the project. So when you talk about capturing granular opportunities, so right now I have in control my whole basket of customers, states, subchannels, SQs, so I can easily with the financial data inside look at the values destroyers that destroy marginal contribution or, or, or things like that and just spot them and I just can correct the pricing or see what's going on. So by using that, we can save up to half million dollars a year in terms of not having those cases. Or I can stop selling those cases if I want to. We have three millions by anticipating the price changes, as I mentioned to you. So every time we execute a price change, and we do this a lot, uh, you are now capturing faster those price increases because you don't have to wait for five days or 19 days to implement those prices. You can do this immediately as long as you have the simulations done. That is also quite, quite fast. The reduction in FTEs dedicated to non-value-added activities. We have six uh, reduction we, 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 that we, they are right now doing other things that generate value to the company. Uh, price capture on value destroyers, two million by spot, by using pros analysis, pros structure to guarantee that we can spot value destroyers in terms of marginal contribution to the business. This is a number by year two, so two million dollars in terms of revenue. And 63 days reduction in terms of days. Those are the beginning, the beginning of the process, the, what we could achieve by using pros. Uh, this will give to us about three to five percent extra revenue to this company by year. So that's a quite impressive number for us in the beginning when we saw that. And today we can see that pros control is very integrated with our day to day. Right now we are planning to move to CPQ and also price optimization solutions that also pros have to have with us. And in Brazil here, we can be faster today than local companies that sometimes the governance are not so fast, uh, the, the decision. So now we can implement pricing as fast as then. And this is a very competitive advantage that we could gather in the market today. So this is, this is our implementation journey that we have in the beginning. We are right now working with pros about three years and it's been very successful in terms of result for both companies. I believe so. This uh, uh, we'd like to say that uh, pros was a milestone for us in Brazil in terms of managing revenue. So it's good to share this with you guys. <laughs>